So I just loaded up some black PAH T, which is basically nylon, with some carbon fiber in it from bamboo. Um, it's all loaded up, ready to go in the AMS, and I'm about to print some uh, gate brackets, right? Now, I'll tell you, nylon in and of itself, especially with carbon fiber, is quite strong. However, there is an annealing process. You can basically uh, put it in an oven, you know, temperature controlled, obviously, and melt it down a little bit to anneal the plastic to make it stronger than it actually is, even right out of the printer. So my question to you is this. Has anyone, oh, I'm sure someone has done this out there. I hate when people ask, has anyone done this? Of course they've done it. You're not the only one. Anyway, who out there has annealed their nylon and how did you do it? What did you use? Like, I want to toss it in the oven, but I know that's not the best idea. I want to throw it in the toaster oven. Also not the best idea. So what's your process? What is your process for annealing nylon? Because I would like to make what I'm about to print harder and last longer so I don't have to print 75 of them over and over and over again. Here's nine. I'm going to print, well, that's not really nine, it's eight, because it was three and two, and that's eight. And anyway, I'm about to print nine, because I'm going to put an extra one there, so I have a bunch of them. But I'd like to anneal them so they last longer. So, what say you? What's your process? Tell me your secrets. I want to know. Tell me your secrets. I love secrets.